I have a question. Why am I not a flea? It sounds rather ridiculous with zero context, but I have a point. As tired as you all are of hearing about it, and I promise there's a point in here somewhere, there's a lot happening in the world right now. A lot to do with biology, actually. The coronavirus, as you may know. The Black Lives Matter movement, as you also may know. Biological struggles. Natural things that we're trying to fight. Like a virus. Or like melanin, apparently. Our very human minds make for a disgusting enemy, I must say, and you can't help but let it take a toll on you. These changes that are so massive, you cannot help it. Let me explain. My brother found a flea, a tiny little thing on the floor once. Naturally, we needed to kill it, but it came at a greater struggle than we could ever predict. It was an insignificant war between us and the flea. It took great and careful planning, stepping on it with our full weight, only eventually we realised we were on the losing side. Did you know that a flea can last up to seven days in water? That it has this tough shell that prevents it from being squashed by even the full weight of my older brother? It's mind-blowing, in all honesty, the way they've adapted. If you want to know, its downfall came after simply going through too much. It took almost every bug-killing strategy in the handbook until eventually one leg was over there and the other was bent at a weird angle with a weird pus-like substance oozing out of it. You get the picture. What I'm trying to say with my remarkably unremarkable story is that maybe we need to stop fighting nature. We need to stop fighting the natural and maybe try embracing it for a change. Things happen. Bugs are unkillable, skin is unchangeable. Not to say you can't want things or want a good kind of change. I want a tough shell, legs that can propel me, lungs that can sustain me. It's that it takes time for those things to happen. And by being patient with them, I come to accept that it will. Adapt to your situations, understand them and you'll find that it is a lot easier than fighting right off the bat. Be like that small flea, look up at those massive battles that are a hundred times your size, and face it. The only way to properly kill a flea with a minimal amount of effort is to hold it between your two fingers and press and roll as hard as you can. And that's if you can catch it in the first place. So, I'm going to be me. I'm going to be free. Be flea.